All right, let's do a few examples of uh, using our calculator to find inverses. Make sure you are in the radian mode. So let's do the uh, inverse sine of 0 0.12. And you'll notice that above your sine and cosine and tangent buttons are the inverse sine, inverse cosine, and inverse tangent button. So let's do this first one, second sine. See how I get the inverse sine? 0.12. Close my parentheses. And 0.120 oh something. Okay, let's do another one. How about the inverse sine of negative 0.12? Let's do that one. Second sine. There we go. Negative 0.12. Negative 0.12. Good. It's just a coincidence that those digits are very similar. All right, let's do cosine. Inverse cosine of positive 0.12. Second, cosine, and type in 0.12. And you get 1.45. Good. And we'll do another one. Negative. Inverse cosine of negative 0.12. Second, cosine, negative 0.12, and 1.69. Good. Remember, because that's over in quadrant two. Good. Let's do a tangent, just so you see how that one works. So the inverse tangent of 0.12. Second, tangent 0.12. Works the same way. All right, now let's do a cosecant. All right, so I've got a, I want the inverse cosecant of 1.12, and I can rewrite that as the inverse sine of 1 over 1.12. So let's type that in. So second inverse sine, 1 divided by 1. 0.12 Enter. Good. And then let's do a secant. So I want inverse secant of 1.12 and I can replace inverse secant with inverse cosine but then I have to take the reciprocal of 1.12 So let's type that in the calculator. Second Cosine 1 divided by 1.12 and we get 0.467. Okay. Alright, so there's a few examples of using your calculator to find inverses.